Let us solve another interesting question from the chapter parallel lines. Here it's a very interesting figure. You see that uh, in this question it is given that uh, AB is parallel to CD is parallel to EF. Also it is given that AE is parallel to BF and uh, some angles are also marked. Here you can see that um, this angle ABE is 35 degrees and angle FBE is 45 degrees and we need to find out the values of X, P, Q, Y and W. So first thing is we are going to write down what is given. So here you can see I have written given AB parallel to CD parallel to EF, AE parallel to BF and here also you can uh, write down angle ABE is 35 degrees and angle EBF is 45 degrees right and we need to find X, Y, P, Q, W. So let us start solving this question. So first of all we will try to see how we can find P this think about it okay we will be taking the lines AB and CD and we can say that BD is transversal or we can say BF is transversal right so AB parallel to CD it is given and BF is transversal. So let us start writing it as well. So we write it consider AB parallel to CD and BF is transversal. So now in this case you see that this angle B that is angle ABD and P that is angle C, D, F, they are making a pair of corresponding angles. Just notice this. Isn't it? So the, uh, you know that when two parallel lines, they are cut by a transversal, then corresponding angles are equal. So can you now find the value of P? Yes. So we can say here P is equal to angle ABD corresponding angles which is equal to 35 degrees plus 45 degrees so the value of P comes out to be 80 degrees so this is how we have now found the value of P now let us see how we can get the value of Q What do you observe? There are many different ways of finding the value of Q. What is coming to your mind? Okay, one way can be like we can use AB parallel to EF. And we can say that this angle B and Q is making a pair of co-interior angles. And co-interior angles are supplementary. So we can find the value of Q. Or you can find the value of Q by taking CD and EF parallel to each other. And same ways P and Q are making co-interior angles. So P plus Q should be 180 degrees. So it's up to you like what is tracking to your mind. So here we will write consider. Now you take another pair of lines AB parallel to EF and BF is transversal. So same, you know, pair of lines and transversal we have taken up. So here, angle ABD plus Q is equal to 180 degrees and the reason is that it's making a pair of co-interior angles. So we say that co-interior angles are supplementary. So we can find the value of Q from here. 
So Q will be equal to 180 degrees minus angle ABD. ABD is 80 degrees. So we can say that Q comes out to be 100 degrees. So now we have found how, what is P, what is Q. Let us see how we can reach to the value of Y. Very simple. I know you have got it. AB is parallel to EF and BE is transversal. And you can see that Y and this angle ABE, they are alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles are equal. So Y will be equal to 35 degrees. So can you write it on your own? Okay, let me write it. So we write here, consider AB parallel to EF and BE is transversal. So Y is equal to 35 degrees alternate interior angles. So alternate interior angles are equal. So the value of Y comes out to be 30 degree, 35 degrees. So we have found P, Q and Y. Now let us see how we can get W. So you see that I am now taking two parallel lines and this is the transversal. Can you guess what will be W? Yes, you are right. W will be equal to P. They are alternate interior angles because it's given that AE is parallel to BF. Right. So let us write it also. So we write it. AE is parallel to BF and CD is transversal. Therefore, P will be equal to W, alternate interior angles. So what is W? It's same as P. P is 80 degrees. So W will be also 80 degrees. I hope up to this everything is clear. So P is 80 degrees and Q is 100 degrees. Then Y is 35 degrees and then W is 80 degrees. Now coming to the last one that is X. How will you find X? What is coming to your mind? Here again you will see there are different ways of finding the value of x one way could be you can imagine this triangle okay and in this triangle if you see that this angle x is exterior angle right and it should be equal to 45 degrees plus this angle the value of P you know. P is uh, 80 degrees. So how much is this? This will be 100 degrees. And how much will be X? 100 plus 45 degrees. You know that exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles. Can you write it on your own? Yes. You have to first write it here. How you are going to find this angle. So this angle will be angle, you can take this point here as uh, say M. So angle M D B plus P will be 180 degrees. They are making linear pair. So 180 plus angle M D B will be equal to 180 degrees. So this way you get this value as 100 degrees. And then you write down X will be equal to angle MBD plus angle BDM. So you write down the reason that the exterior angle in a triangle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles. So X will come out to be 145 degrees.
Is it clear to you? Okay. Uh, let me write it. So we say here x is equal to angle MBD plus angle BDM which is equal to 45 degrees plus 100 degrees that is 145 degrees. Now, how did you get this 100 degrees? For that, you can do a little bit of calculations. P plus angle BDM is 180 degrees by linear pair. So, angle BDM is 180 minus 80 that is 100 degrees. Clear? Clear? 